All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kachwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And um, before I read this video, I said before I read this video, goodness gracious. Before I play this video, I want to read this. So think upon the wrath that should be at the end of the time of vengeance when he should turn away his face. When thou has enough, remember the time of hunger. And when thou art rich, think upon poverty and need for the morning until the evening. The time is changed and all things are soon done before the Lord. So. Basically, this video is about the economy and how bad it's really doing and how it ain't no jobs, really. And I know that personally. And, you know, prosperity is at an all time low. Babylon, the great is circling the drain. America is through. It's cooked. It's over with. You know, and as we continue to go on, it's going to get worse. And, and this is the reason why we always, you know, the the foundation of prophesying is telling our people to repent and also telling them about their transgressions, which people don't like. People don't like constructive criticism, but it's a reason why the Lord is telling you that because he's about to come back with vengeance and whoever is on his bad side. They don't got no chance to make it All right. You will be destroyed and the Lord got billions of ways for you to be for he to um to destroy you. So we're going to listen to this. We ain't going to listen to all of it, but I think this video like eight minutes. <clears throat> Bombshell basically just went off in the United States, and it shows just how bad the American economy is right now. So these are the annual benchmark revisions. So these are the non-farm payrolls, not to get in too much of the weeds, but basically the Bureau of Labor Statistics has now revised these numbers that the Biden administration told us about. And it turns out 818,000 jobs that the Biden-Harris White House claimed that they created do not exist. Wouldn't you love to know them? To me, this is like criminal because you're lying to the American people. You're telling the American people that you created nearly a million jobs and you're using it to curry political favor, and it's a total lie. You're lying to the American people. Uh, well, yes, especially because this is the one metric that they've been using to say that the economy is recovering. So they know inflation is wild, up in wild numbers. They know that the dollar has been devalued. They know that wages are down. They know all of these things, but they've been saying, yes, but jobs numbers are up. Turns out that's a lie. So this is the only thing they've got, and we see them say, repeating this over and over again. There was a hilarious video with Don Lemon over the weekend that was trending where he was telling people, Trump voters, who were saying, no, the economy was better under Trump. And he says, no, the numbers don't support that. This is all they had. Now there are no numbers that support that we are better off under the Biden-Harris administration. And the thing that's, you know, you know, most people, they're not, <laughs> they're not bright. Okay. And life tells you itself that the numbers that they be putting out there on the news, it's just not adding up. It's a lot of jobless people out there. And for the ones who have jobs, keep your job. This is not the time to be like, you know what? Fuck this job, man. I'm tired of this job and quit. Your ass is going to be jobless. So this ain't the time right now. You want to know what time that we're really in? It's time to buckle up. It's time to repent if you haven't. It's time for the ones who are in the truth to get more single eyed. All right. The cares of this life. Don't worry about it. The Lord is showing you that he's he's doing away with this place to bring forth his kingdom. That you never have to worry about no more. So let me get this real quick. Because <clears throat> this is the time that we are in. And as we continue to go deeper in life, and I like to call it deeper in prophecy, these things is going to be so plain 
to the point that people are not going to be able to deny what the prophet's been saying, but it's also going to be too late for those who was playing around because the Lord said in Proverbs 1 and 28, you shall seek me early, but you shall not find me because when he stretched out his hand, no man regarded. So Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember thou your creator in the day of your youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. So, most of us came into this truth as a young man. And it, and from what I realized, too, which is, I think, it's spiritual. Most men came into the truth. I'm talking about the ones who've been in this thing for a little while. Um, even our apostles, they came in in their mid-20s. I came across the truth in my mid-20s. I'm 36 now. All right? I, I literally came into the truth came across the truth, I put it that way, when I was 25, 26. So, um, yeah, and that's that's like the prime of your life, you know? So now we're at the end where, you know, if you're a young man, this, this is a perfect time. It's a perfect time for you, man. You know, you, you don't have the liberty that people used to have back in the day. Like even 10, 15 years ago, obviously we was 10, 15 years away from the Lord returning. So you you would have a little bit more grace, you know, to to fulfill your wickedness because everybody had to fulfill their wickedness before they come into the truth. That's the way that the Lord ordained it. We taste the bitter before the sweet. We learn wickedness before the truth. All right. So, you know, but now this this ain't the time to be playing. Because see, what I realize, and I be having to check myself too, I am not exempt. You know, when, when, when it's summertime and it's, and it's feeling good outside, you're feeling that breeze, it's a nice summer day, you might want to take a walk or a drive with your woman. You know what I'm saying? You can, and you can get caught up in the moment. But you always, there's nothing wrong with that either. But what I'm saying is that you got to always have your mind on the business of the Lord and also have your mind on what's about to come to pass. So this is the time for you young men out there. This is the time to seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And it says, while the sun or the light or the moons or the stars be not darkened. That's talking about the knowledge in the prophets. The Lord is going to cause a famine of the word. Because when you go into the sun, the light, the moon, the stars, that's, that's all wisdom and understanding the truth all right the lord is about to darken that okay it said nor the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong man shall bow themselves and the grinder cease because they are few that's what this video is about and those that look out of the windows be darkened because it's going to be real dark out here also when it comes to the, because you can read that in the book of Joel, also in the Luke, Luke 21, also in um, uh, Matthew 24. It talks about, you know, the moon not uh, shining this light, you know, before the great and dreadful day. So you're going to have, uh, before that time, all right, so you got two things. You got full solar eclipses. You got blood moons. The Lord said that a blood moon would be before he returned. All right. And also... Guess what's going to happen? What's the what's what's the end game? When that mushroom cloud cover the constellations, okay? So the Lord, He's going to cause a famine of the word. These videos ain't going to be going out no more. All you people who are out there who like to just listen to the word for entertainment. Oh, this sounds cool. This sounds wow. This sounds like some conspiracy stuff. All right, it's happening in front of your face, but the Lord just haven't opened your eyes because maybe it's not meant for you. So um. The Lord have blocked people, you know that. It ain't it ain't meant for everybody to get this true, but the Lord said we have to tell you, or your blood will be on our hands. So it says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And ain't that listen, we already in that time. The the music that women put out, okay, because see, it didn't say daughter, it said daughters. That's actually talking about women. OK. You went from what was those what was those harlots names? I can't even remember their name, but I, this was like back in like 2016, 17 city girls. All right. City girls. And then, you know, the, them them harlots. And then guess what? All these women be having um man at home. 
So that's how you know that there's an agenda to push Harlot Tree out there and to make it seem like it's, it's a good thing. But yeah, you got Cardi B, you got Megan Thee Stallion, you know, Nicki Minaj. Matter of fact, Lil' Kim, remember Lil' Kim? She she really, the um, she the head of this, all right? Speaking that nasty, just Harlot Tree of a rap music. But yeah, so... I, I love I love those type of scriptures, especially when you can um point it out. The Lord, I mean, like the scripture says, before they spring forth, I tell you them. And when they shall be afraid of that which is high and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish. Now, when you go to Jeremiah, let's let's get the Jer uh the almond tree. That means that these things is coming to pass. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And, and I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said Yahweh unto me, thou hast seen well, for I will hasten my word of performance. So that's what the almond tree represents. So when it says, and when also when they shall be afraid, that which is high and fear shall be in the way and the almond tree shall flourish, which means his words will come. His words come into pass and a grasshopper shall be a burden. All right. And the Lord also called grasshoppers he um basically he symbolized grasshoppers as men all right the grasshopper should be a burden because remember everybody gonna be as civil war all right people destroying uh people for the lack of bread and great tribulation ransacking people's houses and the desire should fail because men go off to his long home and the mourners go about to the streets because there's gonna be a lot of death in the streets because I think his name is Gerald Salente. He's saying when people have nothing to lose, they lose it. And that's what the Lord is bringing to the earth. So Don Lemon using basically fake numbers to go out and kind of pro, you know provoke people on the boardwalk, uh, which was hilarious. So yes, the Biden administration, Harris administration padded the numbers to make it look like they created nearly a million jobs that they didn't. This is a huge revision down, 818,000 fewer jobs. This is uh, the basically the government's overstated the amount of people in the workforce. And even when you look under this, manufacturing was down 115,000 people. So this is a revision down, a significant revision down, the largest in 15 years that we've seen. And it basically says that the government has now overstated the amount of people who are working in this workforce. It shows weakness in the job markets. Uh, over the past year that we didn't realize was there, but now we know is there. So again, 818,000 overall jobs down, uh, manufacturing down 115,000 uh, in this. And if you just wrote construction down 45,000. So these numbers are huge numbers in revisions down. So those are jobs. So like we, like we read, right? Cause see, here's the thing. This is the operations of the Lord. You you don't just see you don't just receive good and not bad like Job said to his wife. You think that we receive you know the good and not bad? The Lord said He is a balanced power. So when you read something like this, like verse twenty six, from the morning until the evening, the time is changed and all things are soon done before the Lord. So you listen, don't think that you you comfortable right now. So the so and this is how beautiful and fair Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is right. Because the scriptures literally said that we was going to mourn and weep. We're mourning and weeping right now. We're sighing and crying for the abomination thereof. We're actually prophesying the downfall of this place and we're trying to hasten it. So we go through, you know, emotional roller coasters all the time because we're being tried. But the people of the world, they just live in life and trying to go alone and get alone, trying to be prosperous and doing whatever it takes to get there. They, they do drugs to escape pain. You know what I'm saying? We don't do nothing like that. So we just have to deal with it. So the so the, the Lord is so fair because now when when all hell break loose, we're going to be rejoicing and the world is going to be mourning. So the Lord is fair. That existed at this time last year and they don't exist this year. So at this time last year, 800,000 people more had jobs than they don't now. So yeah, it's just getting worse, and I'm gonna end it on this. It's getting worse. So, for us believers, that's good news for us, and bad news for unbelievers. And, and of course, you only can be a, a believer if you are Israelite. And it says, "In the day of prosperity, be joyful, but in the day of adversity, consider." 
which we are approaching. The Most High also have set the one over against the other to the end that men should find nothing after him because this is why you need to be humble. This is why you shouldn't be proud because the Lord can turn your life upside down and you like, what the hell's going on? Then you realize that you're just a man. All right. You take riches from a rich person. You take strength from a strong person. Then you realize that you are vanity. OK, and that's what the Lord is about to do. He's about to strip everybody of their, I guess, gifts. All right. So all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.